Greetings everyone, and great here of another Rattler 3 replay. Spawn on the bottom right side as the Yellow Soviets, we have Damon. Spawn as teammate as the Red Allies, we have Mo Kai J... Mo Kai Hai? Kai J? Spawning as his Magenta Allies, we have Strider. On the south side as the opposing, opposing Orange Allied player, we have ASD, FG, H, J, K, period. As their allied opponent, we have H2, God of War, and as the blue allies, we have two good for you. So it's got triple allies versus one Soviet and two allies. Looks like I got some doggies deployed down the field. Blue does get the first kill there. Magenta does get revenge kill. It's a dog eat dog world. And now here's the combat engineer. This dog still has his bark. And he fails right there. Oh, oh, he gets the kill and doesn't uh, have a very, very delayed bark there. He does put out a reactor there and more reactors here. Looks like yellow's gone for two reactors here. And that's a lot of extra walls and a crusher crane. Yellow's going for a mass expansion there. He has deployed out no infantry whatsoever. Orange has claimed this oil derrick while at it, and Yellow's going to make his way out to sea and deploy out another expansion. Getting out some more and more walls. Yellow's just going to try to be a bit of a punching bag for the time being. Magenta has currently four peacekeepers. Blue has seven, soon to be eight, soon to be nine. More magenta peacekeepers being deployed out. And listen, the engineer is going to sacrifice himself and throw himself into oil, Derek. Very American. Does claim that uh, scouting dog right there, and yellow has a naval yard there, and the dog realizes what's going on and planted right at the expansion point there. He's going to get out Stingray to clean up the dog. So the MCV is expanding, or redeploy maybe he's expanding towards this direction not like sure what he's doing at the moment orange points pushing some peacekeepers out towards red space cyan is so far being content being nice and laid back does have a riptide here maybe filled with some infantry i hear a capture oh looks like the uh the uh oil derrick has been reclaimed Magenta's pushing on forward. Blue has definitely has more peacekeepers and do got moved to kind of turret loaded for peacekeeper as well. And we've got a allied airfield from orange for blue. Orange and yellow are not being aggressive towards each other, so both sides will have possibilities just echoing up. Yep, mostly he has cleaned up a dog. And yellow has expanded out over the destruction as well. It has white house walls. Need some more defense forces, that's for sure. We've got another Morticon turret right here. Load up the Peacekeeper. Does sell off at the last moment. For eight credits. A very good refund. we got a lot of Javelin Troopers here. Greg's trying to save his teammates' expansion. We've got eight barracks here. Trying to pass to boil out some bears. Does gun down that Morticon IF or Riptide ACV. Little Blade is slowly being picked apart. We've got a single orange peacekeeper here, and Fred does clean up this force. Going for a war factory now, and it looks like these peacekeepers crushed by the yellow MCV. That single stingray that cleaned the dog is not going to try to clean up the ore collectors. Actually, there's no prospector there. How did he get that kill there already? Either way, we've got red riptides advanced for it. I think it's filled with some of them filled with some infantry. We got some orange vindicators flying above as well, not intercepting these uh, riptides. Yep, that one's loaded up with infantry. Gavin troops are getting hit by the rip uh, multi-gunner IFB, and the riptides are going to be taking out some of these forces. Down troops over there. He fast could try laser locking one of these uh, ore refineries. And it looks like these uh, conscripts does get cleaned up by this multi-gunner turret, and we do got some wall segments deployed out on the expansion location. We 
We got some bomber runs coming on in, getting some damage on these beast keepers. We got some more working on turrets here. This time pulled out by blue rather than by magenta. More bombing runs coming on in. Beast keepers do take two bombs rather than just one. And it looks like this MCZ needs packing up. I'm pretty sure he's going to try to crush some Vindic uh, some peacekeepers. But nope, he does go and skid on out of there. We got a big bomb way there onto the war refinery. Agenda will need a bit of help. Blues, uh, Reds coming in for some air support, but the Apollos can't do much versus the ground targets. And now we've got some assault destroyers and a cool subs engaging. Those are just the Akula sub being engaged by uh, Soldier Destroyers as the Akula sub is throwing some torpedoes into the construction yard. Akula sub does go down. And got a nice cryo blast there. Very nice. Though we do got this Mudogon turret here ripping apart these uh, peacekeepers as well. They have an even trade in the end. Oh, here we got. Oh, Purple's trying to go for a an ore refiner cap. Sells it off and bombs it, and gets the uh, boot camp as well. Reds pushing before, trying to hit Red Blues or Cyan's base. We've got just an airfield boot camp, and it looks like there is a multi gun turret queued up. We've got black hole armor being activated down here. And Magenta has quite a multi gun turret here as well. A number of bullfrogs coming on out. And those Vindicators do land on the deck in time. One of the Apollos do get gunned down. And now the Peacekeepers are going to blast apart this or refining with their shotguns. Your refinery will go down. Down south, we do have, looks like, ooh, MCV is going to be overrun by the Assault Destroyers. They can't crush each other. Both of them are the large vehicle crushing capability. And so the MCV, we've seen quite a bit of fire. Bomber runs coming as well. He needs, does snare. The other one needs to be snared as well. But he does lose the MCV in the end. If this try to some javelin troops, maybe it can get some blaze locks to finish these guys off. Of course, got the siphoning beam. He still has a crusher crane, so he's not completely dead in the water. And he does also have the naval yard and a battle lab. He's going for dreadnoughts. Six Vindicator bombing runs, which is enough to take out an ore refinery. subs pushing the way forward trying to claim the sea and there's nothing them on the sea to shoot at oh and there's a relatively rare variant of the hammer tank it has the assault destroyer cannon i wonder if we can hit submarines with that thing red strip tights now being loaded up with a lot of javelin troops be a bit catastrophic if he loses all of those. Here comes another bomb run onto the other yellow ore refinery. In actuality, the northern player is actually backed out of the game, hasn't he? It was yellow and orange down here. Up here was green, right? No, magenta. Magenta backed out of the game. We got some satellites now raining on in. And Red's pushing way forward. We got the Apollos engaging the Apollos. But the science Apollos will win out. We got a good number of Jalen troops shooting at the Apollos now. So they did get some of the Apollos right there. And these red Riptides are advancing forward. Get some great hits there. Does get out of the, out of the Riptides as soon as possible because he knew he saw those Apollos. So he knew that if he didn't get out of the Riptides, he was going to get bombed. The Apollos came first and alerted them that there was Riptides or Vindicators on the way. Oh, there's the cryo shot. I was wondering where it's going. And now uh, blue is deployed out of Chronosphere. A nasty item. Cryo shot. Ooh, overkill.
orange packing on up, trying to avoid the Dreadnought Fire. Dreadnought Fire is hitting that refinery. Up here, more Vindicator Bomb Runs, ripping apart Red Space. We got Natasha Romanoff now deployed on field. The Bomb Run there does take out one of the. Oh no, the. No, it's probably get frozen. It looks like the uh, B4s are managed to escape. One of them does get frozen right there, as well as the Peacekeeper Bullfrog. Lots of infantry right here. Red's Peacekeepers are good for that buzz. Right now, shields are up and going. That was not exactly as great a shot as possible. There's some good shots there by the cluster missiles. The precision war shot does get some good knockback there. Right now, what they need is the Desolator Airstrike. Got some more precision rocket or cluster rockets raining on in. It's a good AOE damage, but not like the greatest things. They're a little bit slow to hit infantry. But Natasha, wait, Natasha just. This is one of the few times Natasha's actually really good. Natasha's already fully heroic with all those snipe shots. Holy crap. Natasha actually being used as a sniper. Who would have thought that? Something you may not realize as well, Natasha kills things in a line as well. So, she's able to get a lot of hits there. She's lying up. Hit does go ahead and retarget there now. But big missile barrage raining on in. Getting some great AoE damage. Natasha's still alive. She did not get bombed. Oh, Prison Tower. Hitting the V4s. You don't see Prison Towers every day either. But she did slow up back on the Bullfrogs. But Prison Tower's ripping apart these forces. This uh, prison tower is not going to be sieged by that V4, and the prison tower does outrange sentry guns. Only if you had a dispenser nearby. It does shrink the uh, V4 in time, and he is probably in range. But it does manage to get a kill there. Natasha will be ejected there, still fully heroic. There's still a big line of peacekeepers here, which he could perhaps task for, go down south. Orange, what does Orange have? A single airfield. I know, and an or oil derrick for income, man hub. I think orange is very close to dead in the water. He, no, he can't get that command hub up north. He, so he can't get crowd copters. He only deploy out whatever income he can gather and scrounge up from the oil derrick for various oh, Vindicators and Apollos. Great Apollo uh, Spudniks. A massive amount of infantry here. Natasha going gonna have a field day with that. Red could deploy out a Tanya to help her out. And look at that, a line of infantry, another line of infantry. Would have gone towards pushing way forward. Does throw some rounds there onto the V4. And bull and we do got dreadnoughts able to fight some uh bomb shore bombardment. You got a flat cannon here for oh and that's one reason why. Ooh! Nice kill there. I think that was a bit more damage on the infantry than on the vehicles. Natasha will escape the freeze, but not these other forces. But nothing in the region to finish them off. We got the crowd conference advancing forward. We got a flat can in the region as well. More traveling troops. And Natasha, that's a big line of infantry. Picks up one of those guys there. Another peacekeeper does go down, and throws this one right there. And now here comes the assault destroyer being last and there goes that assault destroyer natasha does get quickly freezed and killed off since she's infantry she goes she gets frozen really quickly even though she just rock decision rocket does roll a miss there dreadnoughts should be able to get some more shore bombardment here black tower is going down We've got parasitic guns here there are more anti infantry great disruption disruption there by the v4s got some freezes here however Tetragon may go down as well. It does go down. And great hits there by the V4, so they do need some more reinforcements. This uh, V4 is still frozen and still alive. It does get thought unthought out out. And here comes Natasha coming in for more snipe shots. She doesn't receive any veterancy just yet. And some of these V4s are very, very wounded. Rez now advancing forward as well, hitting the Chronosphere, and does hit the Chronosphere with a laser lock javelin. Boop! 
guarding his own guys like this. Oh, he may have been forced to find the ground right there. Just like the campaign. Looks like I got some cash bounty onto the assault destroyers. He could potentially uh, snipe shot some of the assault destroyers. Perhaps, eh, if not, he's keeping some by, won't do all too much. Let's avoid the uh, assault destroyers. Let's try to get frozen up a little bit. Let's get thrown. Does get ejected as well. Very nice. Very good micro on Natasha. I'm so intrigued about the Natasha play. You hardly see well micro Natasha. It's just been great to watch. Prospector, try to go for some crushes there. Red's trying to push on north. Blue's coming for a flank here. There's a and there's a number of kills there. The prospect, the ore refinery does go down. Got a multi gun turret here. Red's peacekeepers could, could throw a peacekeeper inside the multi gun turret. That could be great. Oh, dog coming on out. Gets an excellent bar break there. Natasha's gonna be lazing the seaport. Doesn't sell it off in time. And it looks like some of these uh, B4s are being kicked off by the Multigun turrets that have really big build radiuses thanks to the fact that allies have really big build radiuses. And that construction yard almost went down. Oh, it looks like the Dolphin is hitting this Dreadnought. Maintains minimum range. And thanks to this command hub still down here, Blue's able to expand down south. Oh, that's a lot of dolphins. We're gonna need some stingrays to zap them out of the water. Dolphins are very statistic animals. Better kill them statistically by electrocution. Natasha, elite. Another kill there. Next set of V4 rockets are going to go straight into the uh, Assault Destroyer. Great hits there onto this Assault Destroyer as well. Peacekeepers are going to get overran by the Riptides. May go for a snipe shot on one of these. Probably best just do a snipe shot. That's going to have the both rocks. going to be ejected relatively shortly. Red's Vindicator is coming in for a nice bombing run there. Oh, that's a little bit overkill. And here comes a crowd again. I'm not sure where Natasha is at. There's Natasha. And now the crowd should be able to overrun Natasha, no problem. There's not a whole lot. Does get him completely vulnerable, but Natasha cannot be vulnerable because crowd uh Iron Curtis cannot be used on infantry. Plus she he does save Natasha from being shattered right there. And does force fire the ground right there. Needs to not be forced fire on the ground. Moonblade's pushing way forward. Natasha has recovered from being frozen. Dolphins do take out the Dreadnoughts as well. Twinblades are here for anti infantry support. And maybe I had to get, uh, apply some aggression to some buildings, some harassment. Oh, wait, Orange does have an ore refinery. Orange does have an MCV. Looks like I may have missed actually where the NCP was. He managed to slowly scrounge enough income from the oil derrick to get a actual ore refinery. Okay, very nice. Chronosphere is now available. How is Natasha going to quickly die? Got some satellites being brought on down. I don't I think Natasha's already dead. Or maybe she's inside this bullfrog. A lot of javelin troops there. A lot of riptides are charging oh, forward from the by blue. B4s make it over ramp, but thanks to the shrunken states, easier for them to dodge. Good vindicator bombing runs coming up by, by uh, red. Central gun getting some decent damage there and trying to run down this heroic V4 launcher. I do believe Natasha is dead at this point in time. Riptides are just charging on forward, fires a V4 rocket right there. And does roll this. Apollo's getting ripped apart. We've got a large number of heroic Apollo's for red. Which is all the win that poor engagement. But the trick price is still in the region. Yeah, I was claiming that oil derrick there. And yellow still actually has these uh, refineries there. The Plato Command Hub. Looks like he had them rebuilt to Soviets. Oh. There's a bit of a bug right there. 
and his ball does fall back in time. I wonder if that bug is this guy still bugged out. Oh yeah, that is a pretty sizable bug right there. Reducing the income pretty much by half. I'm not sure how you would fix that bug either. We've got a sentry gun being deployed now. Cryo blast being deployed out. And cryocopters are getting ripped apart by the Apollos. The Apollos need to fall back. The unveteran one does go down, so does one of the heroic ones. Sentry gun scale is getting thrown in there. Some of the bullfrogs are getting frozen. And the heroic B4 is still firing away. Not sure where that uh, cryo Ganon shot came forward. Oh, looks like right there. And that may have been in favor of red, because that is a lot of red infantry and a lot of veteran. Orange's airfield is under siege. Orange is not dead in the water. He has a couple of naval expansions as well. And Orange as himself is uh, airfield for a small refund. Yep, that's definitely a fresh Natasha, unveteran. That airfield does go down, and some of these dogs are being picked off. He's trying to spawn on some emergency dogs, but they're being pitted by shotguns. We've got a multi gun turret here, and a barracks for, for, for a bit of a meat shield. So the may have crushed that ore collector. Both these ore collectors are currently down. And Yellow Hat and the Natasha's trying to go for our airstrike onto the. MCB, but it looks got interrupted by the uh, bullfrogs. Bullfrogs do take out the crowdcoppers, at least all except for one. Natasha has become unfrozen, needs to be loaded on up, does get packed on up onto this one right here. When we got a turret, receiving some fire from the Tesla coils. We got the V4 rockets now advancing with some hammer tanks nearby. Not any bullfrogs. Natasha's coming for a bomb and run onto the refinery. Should be able to get the power plant while at it. Ooh, great uh, rockets there. And we got Iron Curtain V4 rockets now raining on in. Blues. See, there's the Proton Collider. We got the Chronosphere low in power. Very good. There's a the chronosphere right now. Over here, Red is trying to freeze down a aircraft carrier. You got an orange aircraft carrier as well as some a lot of blue dolphins. Team left side is getting a lot of naval superiority. V fours are advancing forward, shrunken, and the Apollos will uh, try to shoot down those cryocopters. Good if there's on that refinery, able to potentially take it out. Looks like Natasha is still alive, fully heroic. Cyan's base is getting ripped apart. Cyan. What does Cyan even have left? I see this oil, Derek. If Cyan loses last structure, he is out of the game. I don't. Sina just meaning to back out of the game prevent to prevent him from uh give all his infrastructure to his teammates. He only has command hubs. Battle Lab does go down. Yellow's base is not being gutted out. This refinery location up north has not been rebuilt. And Natasha may be gone. It looks like a cryo shot or cryo again was deployed out right there. These are V4s. I don't see a bullfrog, so Natasha may be down. Though Natasha may be in one of these bullfrogs here. Lodge Allen troops here taking out those V4s, and that's some big losses there. And right now, Yellow cannot replace them. Don't even have the comment to replace them either way. Doesn't have this refinery either as well. Yellow may be out of the game. It's a real shame. That's some of the best Natasha play I've ever seen.
and this ore refinery is getting frozen though there's not it's not refining at the moment either way and there's a tanya and that's the end of the game this is anagrace saying thank you for watching and on to the next replay